What is going on guys, CJ here, welcome back to Stallcraft. In today's video, we're gonna talk about money making. The many different ways to make money, because to some people it might feel like getting a couple hundred thousand or a couple million is very far off. But in reality, you guys can start making hundreds of thousands of rubles relatively quick. So without further ado, let's break down the ways of getting money in Stallcraft. There are many different ways to make money in Stallcraft. I'm going to start off with the most basic one. This is selling your junk, your scraps. We get this from all over the map. It's very simple. Whether you're doing signals or you're clearing out dents, you're going to be getting a lot of scraps. And guys, listen, I know a lot of you might think, oh, these only sell for a couple hundred. But if you save up your scraps, you're going to be able to get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of rubles through selling this as you're seeing on screen right now. It's one of the most simple basic forms to make money and honestly probably one of the safest because you can just clear out things that are out of the way of PvP without having to worry about people killing you. So once again, selling your junk is going to be vital. Now let's talk about the auction house and here's where I make most of my money. It is a little bit more complex because you need specific items that you know will sell in order to make money, but nonetheless the auction house is probably the best place to make money in the end game. So let's talk about what type of things you can actually sell here. You can sell things like blueprints, artifacts, times 20 bundles of popular items. You can sell premium and you can sell things like standard tools. There are many other things you can sell here, med kits, food. But if you're really trying to rack up that big money, things like the ones I'm showing you right now are the ones that are gonna give you the most bang for your buck. So once you get over to the auctioneer, you will have the option to place down your item. You have your starting price, your buyout price, and the duration. The higher the duration, the more it's gonna cost you. So if you're just testing the water with a specific item, Go for less hours so you save some money. Once you have the item posted, people are going to be able to either start bidding on it or just flat out buy it. I usually don't give any room for people to start bidding on it. I just like to sell my item right away. But as you can see right here, we have artifacts, all these times 20. And all of these things here will net me a couple million, if not more. These artifacts up here will net me several millions if I were to sell them. So... If you have some good artifacts, if you got some of them times 20 materials, not these, but any, or just anything that you see in the auction house that is worth money, do be sure to post it for the chance of getting some money. Once your item is posted, you're going to be able to go right here into the auction house, your lots, and you can see what's going on with your item. But as you could see, there is anything that you can post right here, artifacts. There might even be some weapons that you can post here, schematic weapons, like the schematic I just sold. You can actually craft the weapon yourself and then decide to sell it. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the auction house. The next one is a little extra, and this is selling food. And sadly right now, this is only available to bandits. If you play as a bandit, you have the ability to go to the dump and finish a quest that will unlock a vendor that sells this food that you see right here. And this food is extremely, extremely good. As you can see right here, people are making bank from it. Usually each piece of this food sells for about 250 and they're selling it quite high, at least three times the price. So if you're a bandit, you might think of getting some of these food items and selling them in the auction house. Another great way to make money is by selling the times 20 bundle of items that we get from farming in these areas. Now, each area has a very specific loot pool, and I'm going to be showing you on screen what items to get from each area. I do want to point out that some areas will give you items that will sell for double, triple the price as others. I will tell you towards the end of the video what items you want to make sure you prioritize when it comes to making money, but now on screen you guys are able to tell where to get each one of these items. Now, as we're getting closer to Yanov and we're getting to the most expensive items in the game, I do want to point out a little thing is that some items will sell for a lot more 
than others. And this is very important to point out so you don't waste your time grinding without the need to do so. The most expensive items are going to be every single type of data block, large pickles, quantum batteries, aluminum spools, and copper spools, as well as burning crapite. These are the items that currently sell for the most in the game, so I do advise that if you get any of these items, go out of your way and sell them in the auction house. All right, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you all understood everything. It was a quick video, but I still wanted to get it out there to help anybody that's trying to make some money. If you're a brand new player, I'm going to give you guys the route that you guys are probably going to take. You're going to start off in the swamps and cordon, and you don't got to worry about anything apart from killing as many monster dens as possible. They're going to give you a ton of junk, and like I showed you, you can literally make millions from selling junk. In the early game, you'll be able to make hundreds of thousands. Maybe not millions, but you will definitely be able to make tons of money, and I've seen people in the swamps and in cordon struggling for money but this is going to be the best way i advise you go out of your way and get a shotgun after this we're going over to dark valley and the forest and pit area around here times 20 items start becoming a lot more valuable if you've already been through the dump and you're around the dump and the forest and pit there are a lot of items in there that you can sell for big big money and in end game everything goes blueprints artifacts times 20 items that's pretty much how you're going to progress through the game. If you have any other questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're trying to find out what an item is worth and you have no idea, a good way is to check the auction house. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe. Turn on bell notifications. And if you have any ideas on things you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments section below. For now, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.